What's up everybody and welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. When it comes to technology and agriculture, we all know there are thousands of different things that we can invest in. Which ones should you consider? I'm Aaron, this is Colin, let's, let's dig, dig in. in. Aaron, with all the different ag technologies that's out there, how do we know what's worth it for 2025? Well, you know, actually in today's episode, we're gonna be breaking down three ag technologies that are actually worth the investment in 2025. These tools not only increase yield and ROI in our PFR studies, but they're also gaining traction among growers. Number one, John Deere Sea and Spray Technology. John Deere Sea and Spray technology is a revolutionary advancement in sprayer applications. This tool allows farmers to target specific weeds, significantly reducing herbicide use. By using less herbicide, crop stress is minimized, which can lead to increased yields. In our first year of testing, we saw both benefits firsthand. After conducting our 2024 trial, we found a 48 to 52% savings using Sea and Spray factoring in chemical costs that translate to savings of over $24 per acre with our One Pass program. Now, let's break this down with a hypothetical scenario. Okay. Let's say you've got a thousand acres of soybeans to spray and you decide to invest the roughly $25,000 for the hardware components and installation of Sea and Spray on your 2018 or newer John Deere sprayer. Based on our 2024 results, you could potentially pay off that technology in just one year. Looking at our 2024 Indiana PFR results, it is key to note that all sea and spray calculations include the herbicide cost for those sprayed acres, plus a $5 tech fee for the non-sprayed acres. So as long as your chemical cost per pass exceeds $5 per acre, you're saving money. If you attended our Indiana Technology Days last August, you might have seen this particular sprayer and the technology in action. Now, if you missed out on that, be sure to check out our Digging Deeper episode. We've got a link for it in the description below. But wait until this episode's over. We want you to finish watching this one first. Number two, high-speed planting. Another game-changing technology that has been around for a little bit is high-speed planting. By increasing your planting speed from five miles an hour all the way up to eight mile an hour, you can cover nearly the same ground as adding a second planter or upgrading to a larger one at a fraction of the cost. Leveraging high-speed planting technology maximizes that prime planting window without sacrificing yield. Our three-year PFR proven data highlights the yield averages we've seen with SpeedTube, SureSpeed, and Exact-Emerge at five, seven and a half, and 10 miles an hour. Now, keep in mind, earlier planting is a PFR proven success strategy for corn and soybeans. The earlier the planting date, the greater the potential for increased yield. And high-speed planting helps you achieve that. That's right, while equipment costs vary, increased returns make high-speed planting a profitable investment. This scenario shows the cost advantage of planting corn and soybeans at five mile an hour versus seven and a half mile an hour with speed tube. Since our corn was planted faster and earlier, we were also able to plant our soybeans sooner, an important factor in maximizing yield potential. Number three, drone fungicide applications. This particular topic is one that we get pushback on sometimes, but so far we're just showing you guys what the data is telling us. And with fungicide use increasing, one of the top questions we get from farmers is how to apply it effectively. Now, drones continue to be a hot topic, generating interest among farmers nationwide. They've become so popular that we even dedicated an entire episode to them in January. Be sure to check out the link to that episode in the description as well if you have not watched that. That's right. In 2024, we conducted nine studies on the effectiveness of drones, five on corn and four on soybeans. Now, I don't want to drone on. Did you write this? Maybe. You like dad jokes, I thought it was funny. Terrible, terrible. I don't want to drone on, but our PFR data indicates drones can be just as effective, if not more effective, than a ground rig 
or airplanes for fungicide applications. Drones provide another profitable method for making those timely fungicide passes. So, should farmers invest in drone fungicide applications in 2025? Really, at the end of the day, I think the key factor is ensuring timely applications with the right products, no matter the application method, right? Now, if drones fit in your operation, they can be a profitable investment from what we've seen in PFR. Yeah. Our two-year multi-location corn data shows a $10 per acre advantage when using drones over ground rigs. And in case you're wondering, we plan to continue this research for several more years to collect even more data. Weather patterns, disease pressure, and other variables can influence year-to-year -year outcomes. But as of now, we are confident to say that drones are an effective way to apply fungicide. Army mateys. <laughs> All right, Colin, it's time we wrap this thing up. Let's go through a quick recap of today's takeaways. John Deere Sea and Spray Technology targets specific weeds, reducing herbicide use and minimizing crop stress, leading to increased yields. In our 2024 trial, it saved an average of $24 per acre, potentially paying for itself within a year for farmers with 1,000 plus acres of soybeans. So, sea and spray technology, is it worth it? Absolutely. High-speed planting offers a cost-effective way to cover more ground without adding extra planters. Technologies like SpeedTube, SureSpeed, and ExactEmerge enable earlier planting, boosting yield potential, and improving ROI. All right, Aaron, high-speed planting. Guys have been doing this for a while. Is it worth it? Absolutely. And if you don't believe us, ask somebody that's using high-speed technology. I can guarantee you they're going to tell you they like it. Drones have proven to be as effective, if not better, than ground rigs and airplanes for fungicide applications. With a $10 per acre advantage over ground rigs, they present a profitable option for farmers in 2025. All right, Colin, kind of a spicy topic. Mm. Drones, fungicide, is it worth it? Numbers don't lie, man. It's worth it. So what do you guys think? Agree? Disagree? What are some technologies that you think that are worth it that maybe we didn't mention in this video? Make sure you comment those below. With that, we'll have links in the description for the studies we covered in this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notifications when we upload future videos. And as always, we will see you again on another episode of The Dig. Numero uno. I thought you were doing it. I'm not doing numero uno because they're not going to use it. Fine. Hey, they're the buzzkill, not me. Okay. Numero dos. High speed planting. Number Hard three. Shit. Quiet on set. Can't work in these conditions. Okay. <clears throat>